Alan is a boy who has lost his memory. Bereaved of his parents, he comes to a certain facility. One day, he goes to investigate an odd rumor, and... Hey there, I'm Helix, and we're gonna play Alice Mare. I saw some artwork for this game a while back, and added it to my list of games to play. It looks pretty interesting, but I don't really know anything about it, so this is gonna be fun ride, I think. This music is pretty sweet already, so I think it's gonna be fun. The ant told me that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me, no, the rabbit is the worst of them all. So I... Let's see who we got here. So that's a that's roughly how life will be for you here. If you don't understand, there's a note in your room that explains it all again. No one will ask anything of you here. There are a few things to keep to, but it should be a peaceful life. In addition, here. Save the notebook. Your own personal notebook. Use it however you like, for sad or for happy times. Just write down any feelings you have and give it to me, would you? Haha, <laughs> but one of the children just likes to draw in it. That's fine by me, too. Now, there's still time before dinner. You should greet the other children. Leave and go straight left and you'll find your rooms. They're all good children. It may not be immediate, per se, but you'll all get along, I'm sure. Ah, uh, and myself? Just call me teacher. I look forward to having you here, Alan. So you want me to you want me to keep a diary and let you read it? Is that is that what Tell me any of your concerns, I'll do whatever I can. I'm glad to have you here. Okay. Basic controls. Yeah, I checked the controls on the uh Be careful and there's no yeah, okay. Variety of books. Can't do anything else in here. Teacher. Okay. What's up here? Is this the front door? Oh, the dining room. It's locked. She said it was on the left, right? So this would be his left coming out, I guess. A phone. Ah, oh, here are the rooms. Okay. Stella. Joshua. Chelsea. Letty and Rick. Alan. So this is my room. This is a huge room, jeez. <laughs> Filled with lots of your clothes. Guess we're already all moved in. Do's and don'ts. Avoid leaving your rooms as much as possible, except during free time. Potty breaks okay. Don't take things from other rooms. Oh, I'm gonna steal everybody's stuff. Don't break anything. If you do, tell teacher. Don't force your way into locked rooms. Don't hit other people. <laughs> Tell teacher about anything that troubles you, or that you want. At the very bottom, there's a drawing of some kind of rabbit. Warm. Alright, let's go... This is the bathroom. You don't really need to go. This is the girls' bathroom. All right, let's meet Letty and Rick. Knock, knock. Wow, I've never seen you before. Oh, you're the one teacher mentioned. Call me Letty. There's also Rick, but he's not here right now. He's a very nice boy. And you're Alan? I'd be really happy if we could play. Nice to know you. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, what was on the bottom of hers? A dove. Okay, you know what, I kind of want to write these down. I have a feeling there's going to be something about them. 
Okay, this is Letty. Letty's the dove. Alan is the rabbit. Alright. Chelsea. Chelsea. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. So many teddy bears. <laughs> Alright. Chelsea is the cat. These ought to be kitty cats then, not teddy bears. Joshua. Hello. What's up? My name's Brown. Or wait, was it Marcus? It might have been Nicole. Alan, huh? Or maybe it was Helen? Oh well, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, do you have like multiple personalities or something? He's the lion and his name is Joshua, I think, is what his thing said. What's this, a map? A strange design. And... Stella. Hello. Oh. That's... odd. That you can speak? Probably because you don't really... I feel like you're alive. Alan, is it? I'm Stella. Well, that's interesting. I'm playing your piano, Stella. Stella's the zebra. Okay, alright, well we've met everybody. Let's go upstairs. Is this the front room? Can we go outside? No. The library. Miss. Can I read any of the books? Lots of pictures of encyclopedias. Encyclopedias, storybooks. I want to read the storybooks. Books on illness. Okay. Well. Is this some kind of storage room? What's all this on the floor? A butterfly specimen. Ominous. Um, it's locked. So, one of the rules was not to force lock doors, so yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna be going back up there for sure. Did we? I think I did try this. Yeah, that didn't work. the fireplace. Okay, uh, let's go talk to teacher then, because we looked at everything we can. Hey. You've introduced yourself? How did it go? I see. I'm relieved you could carry some conversation with them. You're just in time for dinner. Let's go to the dining room. Now, what do you say? Thanks for the meal, teacher. Alright, return to your rooms and get ready to go to bed. You can go to each other's rooms to talk, but don't go to the second floor. Dismissed. 
Oh, we're going straight to the second floor. <laughs> you haven't been here long, but you seem used to things already. How are your memories doing? I see. Well, no. Don't push yourself to remember. Just take it nice and slow. I'm sure you'll remember everything. Say, do you want anything? I'll buy you whatever I can afford. Ah, well, that I can't give you. It's not something you can buy. Sorry. I'll keep it in mind. Well, I'll buy you some new books. You like to read, don't you, Alan? I'm impressed by how many words you can understand already. Teacher's not so smart. I don't really get difficult things. Oh, it's nothing. Alan, if I told you there was a world unlike our world, would you believe me? No, it's just a fairy tale. But, should you be invited to such a world, I'd advise against opening that door. Alright. Get back to your room. I need to lock up, too. Get to bed quick. I would totally open that door. Is it this door? No. Room 101? <laughs> I'm a rebel teacher. Oh, I'm in your room and you're not even in here. What were you writing? All kinds of contact info is written here. So apparently I don't have any memories. Or most of them, at least. Can I go outside? I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> Nobody's stopping me. <laughs> Hello. Is anybody in here? Can I open this door over here? Uh, I went to the second floor, what you gonna do about it? I <laughs> never even knew. Okay. I guess we can go talk to everybody again. You don't want to talk to us. Kind of creeping me out, anyway. You talk to Rick. He's right around now. He he's around right now. There's Letty, and then there's this other guy. He's just there all of a sudden. Really freaks you out. Pisses me off to no end, honestly. Okay, Letty and Rick are in this one, right? Let's see if Chelsea wants to talk. It's getting colder and colder. Keep warm when you sleep. Wait, where is he? He's not in here. Oh, this is him. Okay, the other girl's gone. Nice to meet you. No, this is the first time. We look rather similar, but I'm not Letty. My name's Rick, and you're Alan, right? She told me about you. When Letty goes to bed, I wash the room for her. Well, maybe it's not quite that. Oh well. Nice to meet you. Did you shapeshift? Did she shapeshift into you? Is... There's two beds, but she's not in here. Did the note change? It's still a dove. Hmm. <laughs> Can I talk to you again? Have you seen new things? Letty's sleeping right now. When I'm here, she's always sleeping. Okay. Are you the one with the multiple personalities? Because... Okay, well... Yeah. Yes. The wall is very warm. I'm breaking all kinds of rules here. Where's the other guy? He said there was another dude who just pops up out of nowhere. Yeah, that was you, right? Hey, did you know? There's weird voices coming from the second floor at night. I'll, like, help. Huh? Uh, no way. I don't want to check it out for myself. If you're so curious, why don't you go, Alan? Oh, but don't tell teacher. He'll get mad at me. Okay, so the teacher's a dude. I couldn't tell. So I'm just like, oh god. I need a pee now for reals. I can't. Okay. Um. 
Can I, can I leave? No. Teacher? Where's teacher? Teacher? Oh no. Oh no. I guess we gotta go upstairs anyway, because we're breaking the rules. Oh god, the library's locked. Help me. Butterfly? Ooh. Hello? Who's there? Alan? I heard a loud crash. What were you doing up here? Didn't I tell you to get ready for bed and not go upstairs? The butterfly said to help. I see. Well, while that butterfly may look alive, it's long since died. Something without a soul can't speak, can it? What a mess. Are you hurt? You seem fine. That's good. These glass shards are dangerous. I'll clean them up. So go to your room and sleep. Never mind. Just had a little headache. No need to apologize, really. Just don't do it again. There, there. There, there. It's okay. Good night. I'm a rebel. I don't want to go to sleep. Uh, fine. I'll be an obedient little child. I hear the kitty. Hey! Jesus, what the hey? Now if this isn't a strange little human, I've never seen before. What's that? Why yes, if you say you're dreaming, Alice, then sure, this is a dream. Because here what Alice says and does is everything. That's not your name? Oh no no, Alice is Alice. And that's because I say so. That contradicts what I just said. Maybe you're onto something, kid. This place is chock full of weirdos, so I'm just one of them. <laughs> oh, don't say that. You don't stop in the middle of a good meal, do you? Same for dreams. Gotta savor the taste. Oop. Well, I'm busier than I look. All right, I'll smell ya. Won't open. Well, that's bizarre. Hello? Uh... Oh, another visitor. That makes six. Hmm? That doesn't add up? Oh, never mind. Good evening, Alice, and welcome. I'm the White Rabbit, the guide of this world. It's a rather big place, so call me if you need anything. Though I should note, I won't move from this spot. It's just a pain, really. And right now, there's the pressing matter of the keys to the world doors going missing. Four of the five are no longer here, but I think I can hazard a guess as to who has them. As previously stated, I don't want to move an inch. So Alice, I'd like to ask you to recover them. How does that sound? Sure. You have my thanks. Luckily, I do have one of the world keys on hand, so you can already go in one. Knowing who we're dealing with, I'm sure he's scattered them all across the world. Once you find one, please bring it back to me. And don't be shy about asking any other questions you may have. But only once. I don't care to repeat myself again and again. <sighs> that was this guy is a pain face just now, wasn't it? Oh well. I hope to have your assistance. What is... 
The writing is too messy to read. Yes, what is it? Okay, about the worlds. Generally speaking, a world is a place that embodies the hidden side of an Alice's heart. Because their surface heart is soon to vanish, you see? They may be locked or unlocked, but primarily are locked. People don't like others trampling on their hearts, after all. I manage the keys, so just ask, and you can go in and out. So long as you recover them for me, Alice. Incidentally, the doors can be opened from within without a key, but not from the outside. The world doors can be found in the area behind me. Well then, I have to have your assistance. Okay, the white rabbit then. Which is you. About me, other than being a guide, I like children, I suppose. Well then, I hope to have your assistance. And the cat. He is another guide. You met him earlier, yes? The sight of him makes me sick. A very ill-natured cat he is. I have, to, I have him to thank for this ear and this off-color skin. Our tastes don't match at all, and frankly, I hate everything about him. Next time we meet, I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Well then, I hope to have your assistance.